So we just pulled into camp and look what was here. Our tractor is back. <laughs> You're happy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm excited about that. They really did a nice uh, thing by dropping it off for us. That was so nice to come back and, and here it is waiting for Looks us. Like they washed it. It's really clean. I think they polished it. I think there's <laughs> wax. That's wax. They waxed it. Did they fix that little leak? Yes, they did. They must have, right? What bucket is that? They put the bigger bucket on for us too, actually. We got that was the bucket the 16 inch bucket. Yep. Nice. That was the bucket we originally wanted, so. That is sweet. That, that was good. really nice of them. Take a look over here. This is what's important right there. No space. Oh, what a big difference. That's a huge difference from what it looked like before. That's the way it should be. You see, there's no room for it to slide off. That's it. Yeah, no, that's nice and tight. Wow, huge difference. All right. And that turned out to be what? A defect from the manufacturer? Yeah, yeah. There was the uh, subframe and the extension piece for the backhoe. They changed both. Okay, and they overnighted it, so that was really nice, too. They really made a, an effort to get it back to us as quickly as possible. And they even offered us a loaner in the meantime. Did, which was nice. So they we really did us a solid. Hats off to the dealership. They really did a good job for us, and uh, they really stepped up when it came to uh, an issue with the tractor, and they got it turned around right away. So we're very happy about that. What would you say about that whole marriage deal? The marriage with... You and the dealership that you purchased your tractor from. So it seems like we have a pretty happy marriage so far. Happily ever after. Happily ever after. Yeah. The question is, will it fit in a shelter logic garage? We know that it's gonna be tight. This antenna was, of course, sticking up above the tractor, so I just rotated it down because we know for sure that's going to be too tall. And uh, let's go head up the hill and see if it fits. If the door rolled up wasn't there, it's really only a couple inches. So the Shelter Logic kit that we got from Tractor Supply came with two roll-up door kits to roll up the front door and the back door. Because of where the back door is situated, we'll really only roll that up if we want air in here. There's no way for us to go out the back door. So instead of using the two roll-up kits the way they came, we are kind of taking parts from each kit, right? We are improvising. We're gonna use the cleats from each kit. Each kit came with one cleat. Yeah. And we're gonna use the rope from one kit. So the cleats from two kits and the rope from one kit. And we found a way to kind of rig it up so we could pull it really tight and get it a lot higher than it was really meant to go, I think. So far from the city couldn't even compare. the string in from the front. Just a little stick corded underneath the rolled up tarp. And then it goes up over the center. Ridge, ridge pole. Ridge pole, yeah. And then it goes, this side goes over there where Rich is. Right. And then this one comes under around, up and over, and over here on the side where I am. Right. These are the, uh, the pieces of pipe that go in the bottom of the door. A little tape to keep them together. Using three because it's long enough for us. So just stick it in the bottom and roll it up. Okay, so 
let us now demonstrate how this would roll up. Fold it in on the sides and tightly roll. I got tons of extra. That looks pretty good. Actually, I see a problem already. The strings. Yup. Ah. That might be a problem for the tractor coming in. The two mirrors on the side. Yeah. Now that we think about Can that. Can we do this? Yup. Is that too much pressure on it? Pull it back down, but that It does. Just on the end though. Okay. That's, that's all right. Felt something give. We could actually roll it that way in the future. That's perfect. Oh. How's that look? So it rained last night and the tractor stayed perfectly dry. You could see, I don't know if you could see in the frame, the, uh, the mud line <laughs> as opposed to where the tractor is. Uh, this thing worked out perfect. It's going to be absolutely what we need. Credit to Kathy for getting that door to roll up really tight and high. We needed every little inch that we could possibly get out of it. And we managed to improvise with the kit that was supplied for the ropes and the pulleys. We just did our own little thing. Between that and just digging out a couple inches of topsoil, it fit. We'll see how it holds up. We got a lot of storms up here. We get, we get some heavy snow. So uh, it'll be interesting to see, but I think it's gonna be fine. So stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.